class, professors and distinguished guests. Um, I'm Irvin Huerta, the account executive of the Practical, <coughs> Practical Advantage User Chavez team. This is my team, uh, Tiffany, Ivana, Jessica, Trevor, and Zach. Uh, our client was American Entertainment Marketing, or AEM, um, or we worked under Yvette Rodriguez, who is the founder of AEM that specializes in bringing Spanish and English movies to the Latino market. They were hired to be the public relations for the Cesar Chavez movie. Um, and now some background, the, the movie debuted March 28th, a few days before Cesar Chavez Day, or his birthday. It was directed by Diego Luna and starred uh, Michael Pena as Cesar Chavez, Rosario Dawson, um, America Ferreira, and John Malkovich. And now I'll pass it on to Jessica to talk about the SWOT analysis. Okay, so the SWOT analysis that we have here is for the campaign in general. The strengths um, of this campaign was definitely the brand. Cesar Chavez is a well-recognized name, especially in the Hispanic market. Uh, the second strength is the cause. The movie is based on a really large social movement. Um, based on research that we found, it suggests that young, the younger generation um, is active in social movement and is probably more likely than not to follow a social movement. And then lastly, for strength, celebrities, as mentioned before, uh, the director, Diego Luna, is a very famous Hispanic actor as turned director, John Malkovich and all the others are there as well. Weaknesses, uh, we found was the social media. Uh, all platforms lacked appealing content. They all looked like ads. Uh, some personal posts would go ignored. The sites were also not uniform, meaning they didn't look like they were a part of the same campaign. They all had separate themes, if you can say. Uh, lastly, the sites are difficult to find. They need a better search engine uh, optimization. When we tried searching for them, they all the pages did not come up immediately. We all had to search very specifically to find them. I will now pass it to Ivana to continue with this one. So the biggest opportunities lied with um, our demographic. Through research, we learned that the 18 to 24 year old moviegoers um, are very receptive to marketing. Any products that they like, they're likely to talk about. Same goes any products that they're not very fond of, they're likely to talk about that as well. Um, the opportunities in regards to social media were that we believe through daily monitoring and upkeep, celebrity posts, um, taking advantage of the celebrity cast, uh, more constant two-way communication with fans and users, and building more um, sites on platforms such as Reddit and Google+, where they weren't that active, um, just taking advantage of all of those platforms um, would definitely increase awareness. And then for threats, um, we believe that the premiere date was one. Um, it premiered on March 28th, uh, and movies such as Noah, which featured Rus Russell Crowe, um, Sabotage, um, featured Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, were among the films debuting during the same weekend, um, actually on the same date, um, and movie attendance through research we found out that movie attendance has actually dropped by a percentage. And in terms of our demographic, only 20% of the 18 to 24 year old moviegoers are uh, classified as frequent moviegoers. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to Tiffany to talk about goals. Thank you, Ivana. So as we stated before, the main goal of this campaign was to entice college, stud college students ages 18 to 24 to buy a ticket and go out to the theaters to watch Cesar Chavez, an American hero. Now there were two ways that we actually were able to successfully make, uh, get this goal. The first was uh, strengthening our online presence. Through our research we found that, um, that social media is most effective when the relationship is built and maintained between the company and uh, the people, you know, the demographic that we're reaching out to. So it, is cru it was crucial for us to um, keep that re relationship afloat throughout all the different social media platforms that we had available. The second um, goal that, or the second way the goal was reached was through our college outreach campaign. Um, that included an on-campus event that we recommended. It included a packet that we sent out to different um, student organizations, which included a brochure. It included a sticker that was film related along with the video that we had put together. And we also spoke in different college or classes at CSUF. 
I'm now going to turn it over to Trevor, who's going to go over the strategies and tactics. But first, but first let me talk about our uh, key audiences. Um, so we chose the 18 to 24 year old college student. Um, more specifically, as Trevor will talk about our on-campus event, um, we also focus, focused it on Kelsey Fullerton students, which was um, which ranged from 18 to 30, with the average age being 23. Um, one of the surprising things that we found was that the largest ethnic group present at Kelsey Fullerton are Hispanics at 37%, which is a huge benefit to us um, because the film is about Mexican American activists, Cesar Chavez. Thank you, Ivana. So when discussing strategy, tactics, and tools, it's important to note that our campaign was divided into two parts. The first part was dealing with the social media, improving it, creating posts that generated more likes, and making a consistent sort of layout for all the social media, as well as helping search engine optimization. When discussing the second part of our campaign, it exclusively deals with college outreach. So the first thing was we recommended putting together an event for the Cesar Chavez uh, movie the week of. And the second part of it was creating a packet, more of a press release packet, which contained uh, pamphlets, videos, and stickers to help promote and inform people of different organizations about Cesar Chavez. That being said, got a video for us to watch, part of our promotional package. So that is our promotional video. I'm gonna pass it on to Zach, who's gonna talk about the calendar and budget for us. Yeah, just to touch on the calendar and the budget a little bit, um, because it was such an influence um, on our campaign. Uh, the, the calendar obviously was clutch because, or not clutch, crucial. Um, sorry. Um, because, um, I mean, immediately as soon as we started the campaign and made contact with the client, two weeks later we were already at a private screening for the mayor. Um, so we kind of had to move fast on that um, to eventually a March 28th release date. Um, just to touch on the budget, um, we originally inquired about a budget. Um, we wanted to do on-campus events, um, a number of different things involving a budget, um, but originally we were just told to stick to social media, and uh, so we weren't exactly given a budget, but uh, it worked out in the end because kind of kept to our theme of trying to keep it a grassroots campaign, kind of stay guerrilla tactics, um, that sort of thing. So pass it back to Trevor, and uh, he'll do uh, the outcomes. Thank you, Zach. When discussing the campaign outcomes, first, we did get a better social media response. We tweaked a couple things. We got more activity from the client and a better response as a result from the public. That being said, the packet, we were able to send it to multiple organizations, mostly associated with Metro. And third, we did, they did implement the event we recommended to them. Metro actually performed it the Monday before the release of the Cesar Chavez movie. I'm going to pass on to Zach, who's going to talk about specifically measurements and assessments. All right, just to kind of wrap it up, um, so obviously we focused a lot on social media. Um, our Instagram, our Twitter, and Facebook were all up over 200%. So obviously, you know, we, we did, um, you know, incite some movement as far as the social media goes. Um, if we take a look at the opening weekend, it wasn't, you know, as, as prosperous as we thought. Um, the budget was $10 million, and, you know, we only ended up getting $5 million domestically. Um, you know, it wasn't released worldwide yet, but um, domestically only five million. Um, you know, and, and back to what Ivana said about you know the movies that were released that weekend. Um, it's a big blockbuster, so that obviously you know played played a role in that. Um, looking at um, some qualitative, um, uh, I'll show you on the next slide. Um, we obviously focused on two-way engagement content, um, so hashtags, um, anything that inspires some sort of feedback. Um, we focused a lot of that on, uh, on social media. Um, for the packet, you saw the video, we did a brochure, um, 
that all kind of helped on the outreach just to kind of, um, the video was put together by us. We took, um, originally we had a uh, informational video given to us by the client. So we kind of took that with uh, some of the film clips and we kind of put it together to one. We figured we'd go with the movie trailer theme just to kind of, you know, incite movement, keep people, get people excited about it. Um, if we look at the on-campus event, um, obviously Mecha and some other Chicano Studies uh, organizations put that on. Um, we'll go to the next slide, I'll show you um, kind of like some numbers as far as the social media goes. So this is uh, from February 12th, so this is before we actually implemented our social media strategies. Um, if you look to me, look back up one more. So if you see here, uh, 95 likes and no hashtags, and then two weeks later after the implementation was done, um, you can see 177 likes, and they also use like five or six hashtags. So we can see that was a, an immediate strategy that we used um, that you know produced results. Another suggestion we had was celebrities. So you can see one of the stars of the movie was there. That's okay. And uh, so yeah, Twitter the same thing. Um, if you look at a basic tweet, um, one retweet, three retweets. Uh, about three weeks later, we had one with Diego Luna. There was 47 favorites and 18 retweets. So again, another suggestion of ours was celebrities, and uh, that kind of um, Will did immediate results on that. Um, go to the next one, Facebook. Um, so here's another Facebook post. Um, 3,000 likes, it was just a basic banner. Um, if you go to the next one, this is uh, two weeks after this, so there's a celebrity in it, there's hashtags used, at 19,000 likes and over 700 shares. So it was like a really, really quick turnaround time that we saw uh, just from our suggestions. And, uh, and then we also, um, through with Mecha, we were able to get a lot of press in uh, the Cal State Fullerton uh, newspapers and on the website, which was really our main demographic from the beginning was you know the college market. Um, so, but other than that, um, we'll take questions. Yeah, thank you.